This is Cybert signing into Kane's Wrath on the map, Smashed Town, USA. Of course, the Smashed variant of Small Town. In the south, as the Cyan Black Hand, this is Futurama. Give a cheer for him, and in the north, as the green, Reaper 17, this is Drive! Drive vs. Futurama, one of my favorite matchups to watch in the last year, and we are actually going to get double descent. So not only is it double portal, of course it is because of the double tip spikes, but it is double descent heading out against a black hand player. Now, of course, this is smashed Dust Bowl, so the buildings are a little bit weaker. There are definitely less of them. But as uh, much of an advantage as a black hand player can have with Cabals, you don't really have it when they just get eliminated. Nice hallucinogenic grenade attempt. It didn't quite work out, although they are going to attack a buzzer's inside of a building. Trying to delay a little bit there, and the Cabals on the right side actually do clean up the descents there. So this attack has gone basically nowhere. That cash spent down the drain, and it's just a bit of a delay tactic. Wow! Tier 2 and an MCV move. This is an unusual game. Uh, nobody plays... <laughs> what are you even doing, Drive? I mean, uh, this I was going to say this is an unusual game, but for Drive, it's actually less unusual than it would be for someone else. I am so interested to see where this goes. No second refinery. He did get out an additional harvester, but now he's going into dev tanks, and he's going for the blue in the middle of the map. Are you kidding me? What is his plan here? The MCV on the move, but I think Futurama is now getting sight of this, and he also is like... What? What is going on? He unpacks his MCV. He's got a tight little pocket of buildings between the War Factor, the MCV, and the Refinery. An insane amount of health between those buildings, but also just an insane amount of value that exists there. Cabal Squad absorbing a couple of shots from that dev tank, taking maybe 10% of its Tiberium Infusion. But now it's going to be Harvester and Scorpion Tank hunting time. And yeah, we saw something almost get produced from that War Factor. It probably was an additional Harvester, and then it got canceled by Futurama. He's going to try and trade out two dev tanks against these scorpions. Can drive and make this work. It's going to be all up to that unit cycling. And he even got a corruptor in here for the automatic repairs on the front line. Two corruptors against these dev tanks. This is a fantastic attempt and a great strategy for us to watch, but I cannot imagine playing in this situation. Scorpion tanks getting eliminated, harvesters getting eliminated, and of course it's Black Hand. So who better to do this against than a player without any stealth and you don't have to worry about their harvesters disappearing when they're not unloading that Tiberium. Even a couple of Black Hand members and actually going to be going right for the power plant. A good move there, forcing the sell off of a refinery. What are you doing? Straight up to tier three. There's an obelisk and a backup power plant. Not on the front line, hidden a little bit behind. And the Black Hand squads are going to try and flame down the dev tanks, but the Corruptors have enough juice to keep it alive. The dev tank rotating away. And what a match between these two guys. To start out with this kind of a rush, with this kind of an attack, where did the MCV go? Did it just go all the way back home? No, it's still here in the middle of the map. Lightning Spike goes down, but the Obelisk will deal with that extremely quickly. The Dev Tank gets eliminated. What an opening for this match. I love this. Two Corruptors going to be burning down this Tib Spike. You might as well get the value from them while you can. Cleaning up a Tib Spike while you maintain two Tib Spikes of your own is great. Uh, no more upgraded power plants, so these are all just the regular power plants from Nod. Big damage from that Dev Tank. Powering down one of the obelisks manually just to keep everything up and running. Get that refinery out a little bit more quickly. And a backup power plant is down. Of course, Drive can cycle down to the south side and try and go for even more power plant kills, which is exactly what he's doing. But just with the Corruptor, the Dev Tank is keeping the focus here on the front line. And he's going to try and go for a kill on an additional Harvester. He may barely get it as well as that obelisk is right 
out of the range of that dev tank. And oh my gosh, one Corruptor sneaks by, but of course Obelisks don't have very fast DPS. They don't do damage quickly, but they do big damage. Now a Purifier out on the map. One Purifier to chase away this Scrin Force and... My gosh, what are you doing, Drive? Sneaking behind enemy lines all the way to the north side. Going to be going for a kill on a power plant, and this Corruptor may barely get it. He's going to back away to try and save the Corruptor from the Purifier, and maybe Futurama continues with the pressure of that Purifier. Maybe he doesn't. Stealing the Blue Tiberium from the little middle of the map, but also making it your natural expansion. Drive is trying to turn this game into something I have no idea where in the world this could possibly go. Secret Shrine is down. Black Disciples most likely on the way into a man-spam transition. Quite possible for Futurama. I mean, in this situation, why the heck not go with the cheap units and just get out a lot of them? Big DPS, cheap, and a lot of units. Of course, Buzzer Swarm, the support power, would be a potential problem for that, but... Just get out a bunch of units and try and kill the other guy. What a match to uh, to be seen on Smashed Town USA. Reaper Tripod is now out. Uh, I don't know what it was uh, what it was doing. There was a little bit of a battle marker up there down here. It's just infantry walking through the middle of the map. Dev tanks going to be cleaning up those cabal squads again, using a little bit of that Tiberium infusion to do that. Barracks gets dropped down. An additional hand of nod right here at the front of the base, but it's an additional war factory on the front line in the middle of the map for drive as well. And then if they both head south to expand here, that will be pretty funny as the MCV from Futurama is actually heading for the middle of the map. There's the phase for the Corruptor to go for some crushes, I guess. And uh, not very often do you see a Corruptor be utilized for the crushing. Portal on the front line as well. A Purifier goes down. The Obelisk is here also, and the Reaper Tripods back away from the front line, but also a Barracks right on the front line for our Black Hand player. A couple of Gunwalkers making their way through the back line to try and do that damage around the turn as the Reaper Tripods cycle away from the Obelisks and are looking to get a better angle, perhaps on the MCV, as this Corruptor goes for more and more crushes. The Refinery and the Harvester is going to be under threat pretty soon, but this MCV is taking a lot of damage. It's unanswered. Drive might be able to break Futurama right here, right now, but at the same time, Futurama may be dealing critical damage to Drive as well. The MCV goes down, but an Obelisk gets set up here on the left side of the map, just into low power mode goes the Obelisk, and just back out of it, barely able to get up a couple of shots and to potentially kill one of these Reaper Tripods as the Rocket Squads try and deal the final damage to those Reaper Tripods. One goes down, the other one will escape, but the sell-off of these buildings around the Obelisk, and if you mistime this drone platform uh, takeoff, it may actually do critical damage to the drone as it's trying to get out of there. I'm not actually sure if the Obelisk will always get one shot off on the drone platform, but there's the cell. Drive goes for the cell of the MCV. He gets out a gravity stabilizer behind this, so he can rebuild, he can remake if he needs to, but one Reaper tripod husk, the other one barely alive. Literally, you almost can't see the health bar on this guy. And it's just barely, barely there. He's going to walk all the way back. He's going to get some repairs. And Futurama is going to be kicking himself a little bit for letting that one Reaper tripod escape. I think Drive is going to be hunting down the husk of his other Reaper tripod. Going to try and deny any kind of engineer caps of that Reaper tripod husk. No, it does survive. It is left. So Drive can potentially take that for himself. MCV gets out. Gravity Stabilizer is immediately sold off. This Reaper Tripod still extremely low on health, and it's just straight buzzers out of this portal. So, so, so many buzzers as they're looking to clean up these Cabal squads, clean up this infantry, and push them away. The War Factory... Wait, is there... No, there is no War Factory, but the MCV is here in the north. Both players trading out their MCVs, rebuilding them, and then going potentially for an expansion. I would love it if they both went to the north. Now, behind this, Futurama has just one tip spike. Drive has had control of the two of his for the entirety of this game, so that does definitely help supplement his income as we pass the 10-minute mark of this extremely weird, extremely wonky match. 
Someone just captured a building. I'm not actually sure what it was. Oh, no, they captured a Reaper tripod. Futurama grabs that, and now he's going to be cleaning up the tip spike of Drive. He's going to burn that down real quick. This is a ton of buzzers coming in, but also a dev tank to potentially distract Futurama and allow these buzzers to get up close and personal. A number of the Rocket Squad surviving, a number of the buzzer hives, buzzer squads going down as they're trying to clean up these squads, and they're getting a good amount of damage, but not enough. The Black Hand members are too strong, and actually a full-on unadulterated Black Hand team, not just the Black Disciples leading each individual squad. And what? We got up to a Warp Chasm? We got up to an Eradicator Hexapod? These guys do not believe in a traditional progression of the game. These guys are going anywhere and everywhere. It's like one Reaper Tripod on each side, but also an Eradicator Hexapod. And one guy has now full health and full shields, but the other guy doesn't have the shields. And uh, at least one Descent Squad inside of that Eradicator Hexapod. I guess this is how you play Reaper 17 now in release 16 of 1.02 Plus, is you just get weird with it. You get funky and you just don't stop. Additional Warp Sphere is now down there on the front line. And no expansion still from Drive. Of course, Futurama, in theory, should have a huge advantage because he's got a natural expansion up and running. But with how weird and wonky this game has been, with how evenly matched these two fellows normally are, I still have no idea if having an expansion out here is really an advantage or if Drive will just plow right through it and somehow even things up. Although the Eradicator Hexapod does get the cash back from killing units, so maybe he'll just farm units from Futurama and somehow that will be Drive's natural expansion. Little sneak attack in the south. At the very least, it may burn down a Tib Spike, which is never a bad thing to do. Get that Tib Spike kill. Feel good about yourself. Reaper Tripod has fully regened its, uh, its Tib Reserves, but it still is just at that two-thirds health. Eradicator Hexapod on the front line doing a bit of damage, going to be firing a couple of shots, but not necessarily doing big damage. It's just trading out some DPS against these uh, against these rocket squads. And is there a Gunwalker inside of there, or does he have shard launchers in that Eradicator Hexapod? Because if so, that's some pretty good damage output. Rocket Squad stepping forward. There's some decent damage against this Eradicator Hexapod, but there's the Stasis Chamber to lock down a barracks and the majority of the DPS, although there is still a good amount of squads on the north side with that second Reaper Tripod from Futurama. But the infantry burning through everything. They bypass the tip spike entirely, and they're just going for the infrastructure. Goodbye, refinery. Goodbye, war factory and power plant as well the mcv here on the front line is pretty much the only thing that drive has in futurama with this sneaky attack from behind managed to do some critical infrastructure damage so this is it there's the push forward from futurama but can he actually kill the eradicator hexapod the eradicator hexapod too scared to step forward but now the tripod is down on both sides buzzer squads are here to support the eradicator hexapod it's taking so much damage away from the healing of the corruptors but it's disrupted the infantry line the front line has fallen and he's going right for the tripod husks he's not going for the eradicator hexapod drive turns north he's going to be able to clean up the rest of the infantry where's anything else from futurama he's rebuilding he's man spamming even more but the eradicator hexapod has remained strong the mcv gets pushed back or sold off it looks like and futurama has almost nothing He's got one hand of nod. The MCV didn't get destroyed. It made its way all the way to the south. He's going for a different angle, a different expansion, and Drive may actually be able to just take this as his natural. He's building something. He does still have one Tiberium Spike. What a mistake of Futurama to not kill it off until just now. He's literally rebuilding a... No, he didn't actually go for the refinery. He may... This may be it. If he doesn't get this, he may not have enough cash in the bank to go for a refinery so it may just be keep the mcv alive and do whatever i can with this with this uh building he's not even repairing that uh that tib spike so he may need absolutely every bit of cash that he can possibly get buzzer swarm steps forward it gets burned down by that cabal squad and i think futurama has got this one but do not count drive out just because it looks like he is dead and lost 
Don't count him out. What is the plan here? He goes power plant. So he either wants a base defense? He wants a buzzer hive to draw in all of the infantry to a buzzer hive to then it just gets broken down. And I'm not sure what his plan was there. I think he was hoping they would just be attacking the Eradicator Hexapod and there would be nothing they could do against the buzzer hive. But now the MCV is getting targeted down. There's nothing else queued in the buildings. The one defense is not going to finish, it looks like. Although, no, he does drop down an additional buzzer hive and he's trying to build more stuff. But the Eradicator Hexapod doesn't have the strength. The Corruptor isn't enough and it goes down. Futurama will finally push drive back. And the man spam from Black Hand is too much for any man to deal with. Uh, how did he get that? Uh, <laughs> how did Drive get that one Cabal Squad? on his side. I clearly missed something there as he had some kind of sneaky tactic planned, but that will do it for an absolutely unusual game on Smashed Town USA, driving Futurama, providing great entertainment value once again. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, I don't know what to tell you. Thank you all very much for watching, and this is Cyber signing out.